persevere through so many hardships. Chicago way up. Thanks, Mrs. Hassenhofer. Glad to be here. Can I go now? Oh, not yet, dear. First, we have some questions. Uh, how many? Well, more than a hundred, but less than a thousand. Let's get on with it. How old are you, child? I was born in 1788, so I'm 226 years old. But you were only 16 when you agreed to go on the expedition with Lewis and Clark to look for the Northwest Passage. How brave of you. Brave? You think I had a choice. My husband needed me to go because I could speak Shoshone. It was Charbonnet's idea. Oh, but, but still, you were happy to go, right? Of course, Sacagawea was happy to go. She always goes where I tell her to go. I was nine months pregnant when you told me that we were going on a little boat ride. Then I had the baby right before we left. Great fun! I can speak for myself, Charbonnet. I don't think you were invited, and you don't have a visitor's pass. Ta-ta! So, you had a newborn baby, and you were on a boat full of men, headed into the wilderness. What fun! That's your idea of fun? A baby and a boat of stinky men in the wilderness? You don't get out of fourth grade much, do you? <laughs> You're too funny, especially considering that you have been dead for 202 years. Oh, I am so funny. I impress myself sometimes. But enough about me. Tell me about Lewis and Clark. Well, I was never very close to Meriwether Lewis, but William Clark was a great friend. Let's see if Billy is available. His name is William, and I never really call him Billy to his face. But secretly, I think of him as Billy Boy. <laughs> Hi, William. It's me, Sakagawea. Do you have a minute to join us with Mrs. Hassenhofer's class? Really? <laughs> that would be great. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 <laughs> He'll be here in a minute. How does my hair look? Do I look okay? What an honor! Mr. Clark, that was fast. And Ma, you are a handsome man. Thank you for joining us. Tell us more about Sacagawea. I could tell you many stories about Sacagawea, but I would rather show you a short video I recorded during the expedition. Well, I didn't know you had video cameras back then. Huh. We didn't. I used my phone. Once, the Minotaurs threatened to hurt us. Sacagawea single-handedly beat them all up. Did that really happen? No. No, it didn't. But Sacagawea did many great things. It must have been hard for her. She was so young and she had her new baby Pomp with her. Without her translation skills and her calmness, we may have all died. She taught us all about perseverance. Big word. It means learning to survive and keep going. Well, thank you both for coming. Class, it's time for us to persevere ourselves to P.E. Mrs. Overstake is going to make you run yourself silly. I'm going to Taco Bell. Later! Get up, drama queen. The cartoon's over. <laughs>